It's kind of glitchy. <laughs> okay. Um, stop sharing. All right. Welcome to Long Beach State, our online practicum today. Uh, we have some great activities planned. We've got a couple beach day uh, themes. We have, hi Quinn, what you doing there, kid? <laughs> Focus. Uh, we have a, a fun yoga session. We have some Avengers. Uh, so yeah, a lot of great activities in store for us today. So without further ado, first up, um, we have Arturo uh, with uh, Avengers Fitness. Here we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Good. Can everybody? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes. Sweet. Thank you, guys, for the feedback. I really appreciate it. OK, so let's get this started. So today we will be participating in a Avengers Fitness obviously by me so we have a message from nick fury hello kids today you will be embarking in a avengers fitness test which will test your limits and ultimately put you into our shield academy you'll be working exercises for 40 seconds and resting for 10 seconds these will be the rules that that we will follow throughout the fitness test students are heroes inspiring which equals having positive effect on someone Everyone with lessons and determination. Determination meaning that we're not weak or we are not uncertain. So let's get it started. We're starting with the Captain America shield training. So first, you could either participate in an assisted push-up, a squat punch, or arms from side to side. Ready, begin. Love the way you're doing your repetitions quickly, Morgan. I really appreciate the way you're squatting down. Dr. Bittner and the girls, I love the way you guys are keeping your knees to the floor and doing the push up all the way down and pushing all the way up. I like the explosion. Giovanni, I love the way you're doing your sides to side from chest, making sure you're moving those arms from side to side. Love it, I love it. Okay, guys, we have seven seconds left. Keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Squats, making sure you guys are moving. Ready? Rest time for 10 seconds, you guys. Awesome. Just sit, stand up, shake a little bit, breathe a little bit. Uh, we're going to start for the next one in two, one. The Black Widow agility training. You could either do burpees. You can sit down and do a side-to-side -side motion again, but more angle towards the floor or you can run in place. Ready, begin. Great burpees, Morgan. I love the way you're dropping down and you're making sure you're pushing through the floor and jumping all the way up, extending those hands. Quinny and the girls, love the way you guys are dropping down and making sure you guys are jumping up high, jumping up high. Giovanni, awesome on the arm motion, going from side to side, from side to side. Everybody at home, doing this on Facebook. We gotta keep active, you know, we're in quarantine. We gotta keep on moving. We gotta get the agility, the aerobics, the cardiovascular system moving, moving, moving. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Rest time, you guys. 10 seconds, stand up, move around a little bit, shake those hands, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Two, one. For the next one, we'll be doing an Ironman stamina training. We could either do seated jumping jacks, mountain climbers, or high knees. Ready, begin. Love the running in place, Dr. Bender, from side to side. I'm not just staying in one place. Love it. Quinny, you got to get up. Got to get those feet moving. Got to get those feet moving. Morgan, I love the improvisation on the high knees. I know a lot of us could 
know have a lot of problems on the knees, but as long as we're moving and we're keeping our our body agile, everything could go right for us, and we could continue being physical. Geo, know the way you're doing your jumping jacks, know the way you're keeping active even though you're sitting down. I love it. I love the way we're doing this. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, rest time for 10 seconds. Try to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Make sure that at all times we are moving so that we don't get cold, we don't get ready. Next exercise, the Scarlet Witch Core Exercise. So you guys can lay down on your back, do crunches. You can do bicycle kicks, or we can do wacky jacks. For wacky jacks, you can sit down, make sure you keep those arms tucked into the hips and pointing all the way up. Simultaneously, one, two, three, four, five. Love it. Love the way we're doing our wacky jacks, Geo. Love the way you're moving your arms up and down. Morgan, I am sure you're doing either crunching or bicycle kicks. Awesome. And keeping it going. Let's, let's keep on moving those feet. Let's keep on moving those legs up and down. Ready? Three, two, one. Rest time for 10 seconds. Breathe in, breathe out, you know, got to relax a little bit of the body. Two, one. Next exercise is the Hulk Super Jump Training. For 40 seconds, you could either do seated jumping jacks, you could backpedal a little bit, then run forward and jump. Or you could do squat jumps or, like I like to do, regular squats. Ready? Begin. Squat jumps, great job, Dr. Bittner. Great job hanging down and making sure you push through like the incredible hole. Morgan, awesome with the back pedal, running forward and making sure you get that explosion in. I love it, I love it. Francis, I love the way you guys are doing, Francis and Gio are doing those jumping jacks, making sure you guys are staying, you're staying active, making sure you know the heart is racing a little bit, making sure we're getting in that exercise. We're doing this. Awesome. I love the way we're doing it. We have six seconds left. Morgan, awesome on the back pedal and pushing through like the Incredible Hulk when he's going to do a super smash. Okay, guys, rest time. Ten seconds. Make sure you guys are standing. You know, breathing in and breathing out through your mouth. Breathing in and breathing out through your mouth. For the next exercise, we're going to do Hawkeye's focus training. So now this is a more lenient workout. At the end of it, you could either sit down, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, making sure we're, we're keeping, you know, the rest time a little low. You could either do hands to toes, standing hands to toes, or you could do a rainbow stretch where you have your hands on the bottom by your hips and you're going all the way around and coming down and breathing in and out. Ready? Begin. Make sure you guys are controlling that breath enjoying the stretches making sure we're focused in the training because we are going to try to join into the shield academy we want to be a part of these avengers and you know these guys are strong and they're smart and they're agile so we have to make sure that here we're focusing on our training making sure we're relaxing a little bit controlling the breathing and we're all going to do just fine 10 seconds left okay you guys awesome dr binner i love the way you're doing your hands to toes making sure you're keeping your body stretched out. Morgan, awesome on the breathing technique, opening up those lungs and everything. Now, congratulations. You have all completed the Avengers Fitness Test and now we are all part of the SHIELD Academy. Remember the motto, students are heroes, inspiring everyone with lessons and determination. Thank you guys. For closure questions, in the Ironman exercises, were the high knees, seated jumping jacks, or mountain climbers more difficult? Which ones did you guys think were more difficult? Any seated jumping jacks? And if you guys mountain want to climbers, leave it to let me know in the chat as well. When doing the Scarlet Witch workout, which exercises did you guys find more difficult? The crunches, the bicycle kicks, or the wacky jacks? Wacky jacks. The wacky jacks, point, you thought those were difficult? Bicycle kicks. Oh, when doing the Hawkeye workouts, which one did you guys enjoy the most? Which one make you guys feel more peace or relaxed? The, the rainbow reaches, the sitting down and breathing in through your nose and your mouth, which one, were, which one was the more peaceful for you guys? When? why are you shy? <laughs> okay, you guys, last question. 
Are you happy that you all guys are all part of the Avengers and the Agents of Shield? Are you guys happy? Thumbs up. Yay! Okay, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. All right. I am up. Okay, welcome class to Beach Bum Friday. Here's some beach music to get us started. Hey, all right, so welcome to Beach Bum Friday. Today, we're gonna spend our day at the beach. I'll be explaining each workout and then I will say, ready, set, beach time. And we'll start each workout. Each workout will be only 30 seconds. So let's go to the beach. All right, so what we need first, make sure you have a lot of space, you have a mat and a chair if you need it, okay? Parents, can you please help them with that if they need it? All right, so let's start. All right, so a warm up. We're gonna shake like a squid. So use your arms and legs, okay? Move your arms and legs. Yeah, 30 second timer, let's go. All right, shake your arms, shake your arms, get loose, get loose. Shake your legs, shake your legs. Feel it, you feeling warmer? Good job. I see everybody shaking, don't stop, don't stop, get warm. Get warm, any way you wanna do it, there's no wrong way to squirt, to shake. Come on, eight more seconds, keep going, keep going. I see you, Morgan, have fun with it. All right, so we shook like a squid. All right, next thing we're gonna do is hit a volleyball. On the left, you can stand up and do a squat, or on the right, you can do a squat with a chair. All right, let's go, 30 seconds. All right, bend down and do your squat and hit up. There you go, good job, Giovanni. You stay seated, it's all good. As long as you move your arms. Squat and bring your arms up. Make sure your legs are shorter length apart. You're bending your legs. You have a good balance, okay? All right, good job. Good moving, good moving. All right, good job, class. All right, next one, we're gonna be a crab on the sand. So we have two options, crab kicks on the left or crab punches on the right. You're gonna be on the ground with all four, on all fours, kicking up and left and right back and forth, or you have a crab punch where you're gonna be crabbing with your hands, okay? Let's go. All right, 30 seconds, let's go. If you're on the ground, you can stay seated if you need to, and you can just kick left and right, left and right. There you go. Keep grabbing, keep grabbing. Good job, Morgan. Good job, Ms. Bender, I see you. Working hard. Pace yourself if you need to, okay? It's not a race. All right, good job, class. All right, next exercise is the wave jump. You can either jump over the waves or you can do the wave. All right, let's go. All right, jump up and down, jump over the waves. It's gonna get you, don't fall. All right, go left and right. Do the wave, do the wave. Oh, the waist coming, waist coming. Jump, jump, jump. Watch out. It's coming, 10 seconds. The big one coming, ready? Oh, you barely made it, good job, good job. All right, don't be scared, just water. Three more seconds, three, two, one. Good job working out. All right, for the next one, we need our mat, okay? So hope you guys got the mat um, in the beginning. And we will be on the ground, or if you can't, you can um, use some arm circles. So we're gonna start our ocean swim. 
the uh, alternative plank, which means we'll be on the ground, going left and right with our feet and our legs and our arms. All right, let's go. 30 seconds, let's begin. Right arm up, left, or, left, left leg up. Right arm up, left leg up, left leg up, right arm up. It's like you're swimming. Good job. Make sure you flex your abdominals, your stomach. Take a break if you need to, okay? Yep, you're floating right now. Got to keep floating. Keep your arms moving. Keep your arms moving. The shark might be behind you. You got to hurry up. All right. Awesome. Good workout, everybody. So we're going to do our stretch to end off our day. This will be our starfish stretch. So you can either make an X like a starfish on the left, or you can sit down and have a Y-shaped starfish on the right. All right, let's go. Stretch. Make sure your arms are out. Don't move too much. It's static stretching, so we're not going to move too much, all right? Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, your, inhale out your nose, out your mouth. In your nose, out your mouth. Breathe. You worked hard. You earned it. Almost five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good stretch. All right. Good job, class. That was our workout. Um, to see what you guys liked, I want to ask you guys, what was your favorite beach activity? What was your favorite? Jumping. Was it A, Jumping. crap on the sand, B, wave jump, or C, ocean swim? I see two, so wave jump. What you like? Like crap on the sand, eh? Okay. Like on the ground, or two you? Okay. All right. The question is, what sport did we play today? Was it basketball, volleyball, or oh. soccer? Volleyball. I heard it right. Volleyball. Good answer. Good job. All right. Good job, class. See you guys next time. Miles, you're next. Miles. And I don't see Miles on. Maybe he got bounced. Um, Eric, why don't you go ahead and go next, if that's OK? Yeah, that's cool. OK. Um, Thank you. <gasps> Hello everyone, so today we'll be doing some yoga with Dory and friends. So first of all, let's go ahead and start off by controlling our breath. So we want to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. So really focusing on your breathing, taking deep breaths in and taking deep breaths out. So really focus on your breathing. Now we're going to stay inside our bubble. So how do we stay inside our bubble? Go ahead and just spread your arms out to your side. Make sure you're not hitting or bumping into anything. You really want in your space. So make sure you stay inside your bubble and really focus on your breathing, okay? All right, so the first pose that we're gonna do is called the Dory Pose. You could either extend upwards with your arms upwards or you can extend your arms out to your side. So we're gonna go ahead and do this for 30 seconds. Go ahead and focus on your breathing. Breathe in and out slowly. Good job, Christian. I like the way that you're extending out your arms. Good job, Morgan. I like the way that you're extending out your arms out upward. Good job, Gio. I like the way that you're extending your arms out to your side. Really focus on your breathing. Take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Remember to stay inside your bubble. Good job, you guys. I like the effort that you guys are doing. All right, so that's it. Now rest. Now we're gonna go on to the baby pose. Now the baby pose, you could either bring your hands out to the center or you could raise them above your head, whichever one you want. Remember to focus on your breathing, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Good job, Gio. I like the way that you are raising your 
hands above your head. Good job, Christian. I like the way they bring your hands together at your chest. Good job, Jerry. I like the way they bring your hands also up to your chest. Really focus on your breathing, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Good job, you guys. So go ahead and let's hold it for a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now rest. Now we're gonna go into the destiny pose. So destiny pose, you could either stand up and you could reach for one leg and raise your other hand, or you could get on your knees and just reach above your head. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this for 30 seconds again. And really remember to focus on your breathing, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Focus on your breathing, listen to your breathing. Really stretch out your muscles, your arms, feel your bones stretching. Focus on your breathing. Good job, Christian. I like the way that you're extending out your arms. Good job, Morgan. I like the way that you're reaching down for your feet. Good job, girl. Okay, so that's it. Now rest. Now we're gonna go into crush pose. So crush has a hard shell, so now we need to bend our back reaching for our toes or you can keep your back straight like crush so we're going to do this for 30 seconds and really focus on your breathing okay so for 30 seconds then keep your back straight or reach for your toes remember to focus on your breathing taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out good job Christian I like the way that you're reaching over to grab your toes Good job, Gio. I like the way that you're keeping your back straight. Morgan, I like the way that you're reaching over for your toes. Good job, Jerry. All right, you guys, now rest. Now we're gonna do Mr. Ray Pose. So Mr. Ray Pose, you can either cross your legs and put your hands at your knees, or you could bend your knees or, and put your hands at your lap. So we're gonna go ahead and do this for 30 seconds. Remember to focus on your breathing. Taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Good job, you guys. Remember to uh, focus on your breathing. Good job, Christian. I like the way that you're breathing in and out slowly. All right, now rest, you guys. Now we're gonna go to the Hank pose. So the Hank pose, you could bring your tentacles up to your eyes, forming little goggles, or you could bring your tentacles in the center. All right, now we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So go ahead and remember to focus on your breathing, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. I like the way that you guys are covering your eyes with your hands. Good job, girls. I like the way that you're bringing your hands up to your chest. Good job, Jerry. So remember to focus on your breathing, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Good job, you guys. Now rest, and now we, we're gonna do the fluke and rudder pose. So fluke and rudder like to relax and really like to sleep. So remember to focus on your breathing. You can bring your hands at your lap or you can bring them out to your side by crossing your legs. We're gonna go ahead and do this for 30 seconds. And 30 seconds. Remember to focus on your breathing. Really listen to your breathing. And taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Remember to have your hands out at your side or you can bring them in towards your lap. Good job, you guys. I like the way that you guys are taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Okay, you guys, you guys can relax now. So now, you guys did it. You guys finished the yoga with Dorian friends. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go into our closure questions. So did you enjoy the Hank pose or the Dory pose? Which pose, which position was your favorite one? You could leave, go ahead and leave it in the chat or you can also say it. I love Dory. Dory. Yes. Dory? Dory was my favorite too. 
about our second question. Which yoga position was the most difficult? Was it the crush pose or the baby, baby pose? The baby. The baby pose? Yeah, I thought that was difficult as well. So that's it for me. And then these are my references. I got these from Kids Yoga Stories. I appreciate your time, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, uh, Jury, we'll have you go ahead and go next. Alrighty then. Okay, guys, we're going to get ready for a little more yoga. So parents, if you want to help you don't have your child mat, get a yoga okay. mat or a chair, so a chair just in case you need it for balance. But if you don't think you need it for balance, that's fine as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with our mountain pose. When you think of a mountain, you think of something really tall and strong. So we're going to make our bodies nice and tall and strong. Nice and tall. And your palms can be right at your at your thighs. And if you're in a chair, like Mia is, you can just put your hands down at your side. But let's be nice and tall. And while we're doing this, let's practice deep breathing. And to do that, we're just going to smell the flowers and blow out the candles. And we want to do that while we're doing Remember to deep breathe, everyone. Okay, now we're going to do our chair bear pose. And all the chair bear pose is, is it's kind of like sitting in a chair. So I'm going to be the bear in the chair, and me is actually in a chair. So if you're in, in a chair, that's perfectly fine. All I want you to do is go on ahead and bend at the knees, just like this, and bring your hands together. So if you're in a chair, you can just bring your hands together like me as well. And remember those deep breaths, guys. Let's breathe in the flowers. Blow out the candles. Very good. Now, we're going to go ahead and move down to our mat. But you can also stay in your chair if you need to. We're going to get on our hands and knees. Okay, everyone, together. we're down on the mat now. And we're going to go just like this where we're going to have our hands on the mat and our knees on the mat. We're going to do the cat pose. And I want you to just curve your back like a cat would. Head down. Good job, Eric. If you're in a chair like Mia, just Good job, put Morgan. your head down. And remember to breathe. Good job, deep. everyone, on having your head down. Slow the flowers. Okay, now we're going to switch to the cow pose. I'm going to arch my back and look up. If you're in the chair like Mia, just look up. And you're going to hold your head up just like a cow would when he's saying, Move. Remember to move. Can you say that, everyone? Move. Good job with your okay, moves. Very good. Now let's go ahead and switch to. The crisscross applesauce or the bottoms of your feet can touch like this. Okay, this is the easy peasy lemon treesy exercise. And all we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to lean over to the side, bringing one arm over just like this. And if you're in the chair like Nia, you good can just job reach leaning over. over. Reach as far and as you can. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Remember to breathe. Good job with your okay, deep now breaths. Let's switch to the other side. Now I hurt my arm, so I can't reach completely over, but Nia is reaching over in the chair. Good job reaching over, guys. Remember to breathe. 
Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and end with the easy peasy lemon cheesy pose, which is just like the easy pose. Stay crisscross. You're just going to take your hands and your arms, place them on your knees. And if you want, you can touch your thumb to your middle finger. And let's breathe deeply. Breathe in the flowers. Blow out the candles, guys. And whenever we're at the end of yoga, we always say namaste. Can you guys all say that with me? Namaste. Let's say it again. Oh, I hear it. Namaste. Okay, very good. So guys, when we get to the end of yoga, we always say, what is it? Namaste. Very Namaste. good. Namaste. Very good. Well, thank you for doing yoga with me, Ania. We had a great time hanging out with you. Bye. Okay, everyone, very good. So when we get to the end of yoga, can someone tell me what is it that we say? Namaste. Namaste. Very good. And now I want to know which pose did you like the most? The cat pose or the cow pose? Cow. Cow pose. Probably because cow. we got to say moo, huh? Very good, guys. So if you feel more relaxed now, go on ahead and give me a, give it a thumbs up. And if you're still not relaxed, maybe a thumbs down. But hopefully you guys are really relaxed now. Excellent. Good job, guys. Thanks for doing yoga with me. All right. Let me see here. Nicely done today. Who was it? Um, yeah, I think Miles got bumped. That's okay. We'll, we'll do next week. But great job, everyone who went today. We had some really fun times at the beach, some relaxing yoga, um, good times with Dory. And of course, our fitness with the Avengers. So everyone have a great weekend. Make sure that you get outside, go for a walk, uh, enjoy the beautiful weather, get some exercise. And of course, uh, next week, we will see you all Monday through Thursday because Friday is the 4th of July holiday. So we'll have that three day weekend. So we're gonna do our four days next week, Monday through Thursday. So we will see you here Monday at one o'clock. So hope Monday. 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 I know Monday. So hope everyone can join <laughs> us then. Have a good weekend and see you Monday. Monday. Bye everyone. Bye.